Well, hi, and welcome to the SignWorld website. This is the demo on how to use the, the main part of the website, in particular the learners section. This is the home page. Uh, as you can see, it's split up into nice and easy sections. Uh, across the top here, a couple of links for you, just to take you directly to various parts of the website. If you need to contact us, just click here. It'll open up an email for us. Scrolling down, uh, you'll see here these three sections. Learners is where most of the learning takes place, so this is all where our BSL videos are kept. This teacher section is for BSL teachers in particular, looking to improve their teaching methods. And in the specialism sections, uh, we're, we're putting things like our medical packages, linguistics, fun Christmas package, etc. Um, further down the page, we have um, various bits of information for you to read at your leisure. So the main part of our learning is going to be done in the learners section. Uh, so you can see the green bar here. Just click on that and it'll take you straight through. Well, welcome to the learners section of the website. This is the main home page you'll see. Um, just some useful information as you scroll down. Uh, please note this one particular section here. There are no DVDs coming through the post. Uh, this is an all online resource. Uh, quick navigation around the top so you can jump to any of the sections just by clicking on one of these. So this is our teacher section or the specialisms here or jump back to our learners section. So most of the learning is done across these different packages, our main levels obviously here, with fingerspelling news and numbers and colours also as separate packages. So if we click on levels, and you'll see at the moment we have up to level four, level five and level six coming at some point. So the first thing you want to do is to log in so if we log in here, and then you'll see the levels are highlighted in blue. Now I've got access to all the levels at the moment. Uh, as you go in, you'll know you've got access to the packages because these sections here will be highlighted in blue. Let's go into our first lesson. So this is the main structure for all of the levels. You have your stories. Some grammatical notes here, questions and tests. There will be a separate demo video on how to use the tests. With our stories here, you have um, some brief introductory information on how to use the lessons, but I'll walk you through this now. Our lessons are built around a series of stories like this. Now at the moment, we don't know what she's saying if we've not learned sign language before. So what we've done is we've broken down these stories into individual phrases like this. Now we still don't know what she's saying, so we have the handy option of adding the subtitles. And then you'll see here along the right hand side, all the regional variations that exist across the UK that will show perhaps a slightly different sign than the one that you've been presented. So the main default one here is London, with the hand against the chest. If we go to Cardiff, for example, the sign for woman is against the chin, uh, against the cheek, rather. If we then look at Derby, it's the two finger kind of rotating near the ear. So some of the signs are different, but again, it's all the same sign. So you work your way through each of these phrases, building your story up. And then what you might want to do then is go back to the original story that doesn't have the subtitles and see how much of it you can work out without going back to the phrases. Just some handy extra little things here for you to have a look at. So we've all had a look at the subtitles, but the other thing you can do is look at somebody 
being either left or right-handed. Uh, there's also the option here to put it full screen if you really wanted to, to see it bigger. The next thing on the lessons is the grammatical notes. So for those who like theory, like me, um, if you'd like to kind of read around how the language actually works in terms of the grammatical structure, then you can read these um, and it will then give you examples in particular clips of where those particular grammatical rules apply. Uh, the different grammatical notes are different in each lesson. The next section is questions, because questions in British Sign Language are different than in English or other languages, where the question form comes at the end of the sentence. So we've included questions as well throughout the lessons. So again, if you don't know what she's saying, you just click on the subtitles. You see the question form comes right at the end of the sentence, so when she wiggles a finger, that's the, the sign for what. Question number two. Question again, the where sign comes at the end of the signed phrase. So you would work your way through those as well. Just some useful information about your account. If you wanted to see your subscriptions, you could just check here. You could also update any details you might have, or any messages to the administrators if you've got a particular question in relation to technology or anything like that. Uh, please get in touch and we'll respond to you as quickly as possible. Um, just some other things as well, you can contact us here at these various contact locations, so email, Twitter, Facebook, and we have some videos going up on Vimeo very soon. I hope that's been useful. Any questions, get in touch.